Hello and welcome. So now once we have triggered our first GET request in Postman, let's analyze the response that we have got. So on the response, if you see on the response screen below here in the body section, you will see the tab pretty and this is the JSON response that we have got. So curly braces and then the key value or the name value pair between these curly braces. So it's pretty, when we say pretty, it's pretty formatted. Um, and then the next tab is raw. So it won't be formatted uh, well. So that is why if you select pretty, it will format the response content depending on the uh, what sort of format it is in. So if you can see here, it is by default selected as JSON because the response is in JSON. If the response is in XML, you will see the formatting accordingly right so similarly if it is html or text or auto then if you choose to auto it will automatically detect the response type and format it accordingly now if you go to raw it will display the response in the raw format the next is the preview so for example uh, if you are sending a request to uh, the the endpoint which responses as an HTML page which has a has a certain preview then you will be able to see the preview so let's say we are triggering a response or get request to um, just say www.google.com so when you access google.com it does have a preview so let's send this request and see what a response you will get so now you can see it's by default pretty formatted and it has chosen the HTML formatting accordingly because the response that we have got is in the HTML format and not JSON. Then in the raw, you will see the raw format. In the preview, if you go and see, then it's the preview of the web page, the google.com page that is shown here. Okay. Then in the visualize, that's the new beta feature. We'll cover about visualize with some examples later. The next tab is the cookies tab, which displays the cookies. The next is the headers. So it displays the values, the key values in the header. And if you have done some of the tests in this particular request, it will be displayed in the test results. So for example, you are doing some testing, which we'll cover in future tutorials. Then these test results will be displayed in the test results tab here. The next thing to note is about the status. So for example, if you see this 200 OK status, these are the set of statuses or the um, HTTP request status that you will get. So it depending on what response you got. So if it is successful, it will be a 200 series um, responses or the status code. So if you want to get more detail about the statuses, just go to the HTTP response status codes. Uh, and on developer.mozilla.org and you will see that the statuses that you might get are uh, in the range of 200, uh, 100 to 199 which is only for informational purposes. Then you have successful re responses which is basically between 200 to 299 and if there are any redirects um, then it will be uh, in the range of 300, client errors are 400 and server errors are 500. So depending on what sort of response your service or web service is returning you will be getting that response on the postman if you want to get more detail you will see a lot more information about these statuses status codes on this particular website now going back to postman so this status 200 ok means that this response the request went through successfully to the server and server processed it and sent the response as 200 ok the next thing is the time it took and you will see in the event section and the time for each event it took to basically complete the event and uh, total time to complete the request and response. Then it uh, the next is the size of the response size basically. So what is the size of the body? What is the size of header? And then you have the request size as well below if you see. so also does calculate the size of the request. The next thing to analyze in the response is the saving response. 
feature so you can save the response as a, to a file or as an example so for example if we go to shuffle cards here so this is the response that we have got right now if you want to save this response as an example or to a file you can select um, the format accordingly that you want to save and provide the name and the location to save this as to a file or if you want to save this as an example then you can save it as an example as well just provide the name and click save example okay now examples are helpful in postman in case you are um, your apis are not developed yet and you want to prepare dummy request and responses you can save those you can prepare those request and re responses as an example and those examples can be processed as the mock service and can be used in testing prior to the actual apis are developed so that's the use of the example we'll cover more about the examples later so this is pretty much all about the basics of the response or analyzing the response in soap ui so pretty helpful uh, headers here just uh, go through briefly and understand what all these headers are all about and what all information you you need to be looking for in these uh, headers and the response codes so thank you very much for watching see you in the next tutorial